Harlem is one of the toughest areas in New York City. Even walking down the street can be dangerous, and you might think it's the last place you'd want to send your children to school. Now the pride is back in this Harlem school. It's one of several in rundown inner city areas here that have been turned around and are now centers of excellence. Mr. Baker spent the day being shown how it's done. Five years ago, this school was such a blackboard jungle that the city had to close it down. Now parents fight to get their children in to specialize in science and maths. And it's not just for an academic elite. They won't take the top 10% who go to existing high schools. They pick the best of the rest. And even then, a youngster who has a good recommendation from a junior school headmaster can still get in. Ironically, even white parents who fled area schools like this years ago are now happy to have their children accepted here. And the students who come from all parts of New York have no shortage of ambition. You, what do you want to study in college? I'm not sure. Either law, computers, business or communications. In a country where there's a furious debate going on over falling educational standards, everyone seems to agree that the so-called magnet schools are a huge success. Like the city technology colleges favored by Mr. Baker, they offer the best of teachers and are better equipped and funded than surrounding schools. Like the British grammar school, they cater to an elite, but in the inner cities here, they've been very successful. I'm seeing very good education in very bad and difficult areas. And this comes about through a commitment to the teachers, uh, involving the parents, involving the community, motivating the students to have a pride and a love of their school, and the teachers themselves having a pride and a love of their school. Tell me, can any of you do letters now? And these very new inner city pupils who could face a somewhat brighter future now were also eager to give a good report to Mr. Baker. One, two, three. Ken Reese, News at 10, New York.